Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 9.0. And today is day eight. Today we continue our training inside of the Contacts applet, and we're going to focus on filters and advanced filters and show you some ways that you can uh, segment down or kind of whittle down a big database into a smaller, more impactful group such that you can do things like bulk actions, which we'll cover tomorrow, um, you know, kind of see some missing pieces of information, key pieces of information, etc. So let's dive into the contacts here on the left hand side, our second applet down. And we've shown you the button before. Here is that filters button. Just to note, you can see that my smart view showed up. My phone number column is now on the left hand side from yesterday. But let's dive into filters. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on the filters button. I get this drawer here that slides out from the right hand side and these are our basic filters. So the first thing I can do is I can filter for just contacts, just leads, or all contacts. I can come in and filter by tag. So you can see, right, here's the different tags I want to filter by. I can come in and filter by lead source, right? Um, with tags, just be careful if you choose more than one tag, it's gonna give you typically everyone with agent. So if I said agent and allied resource, maybe I was looking for just agents that are also allied resources, this filter will not do that. This will give you everyone that has agent and everyone that has allied resource. When we get into advanced filters, I'll show you how you can do agent and, or uh, everyone that has both of these tags on one contact, if that makes sense. Um, all right, so tags, lead sources, agent site connections, we'll get to that when we get into agent sites, but that's basically someone that is actually registered on your website. Uh, do they have a neighborhood assigned or not? And you can actually filter by contacts assigned to a specific neighborhood. That's gonna make more sense when we get into smart plans uh, probably next week and we get into the monthly neighborhood nurture. We'll talk about that as well. Uh, recently active, right? Anyone that's recently engaged with your content uh, so within the last many days or it's been longer than this many days. You can see you can also do weeks, months, or years. Uh, you've got created on filters. So if it was created within the last number of days or it's been longer than so many days, again, weeks, months, or years since that contact was created. Uh, modified, last contacted, same exact setup in both of these, right? So you can see that. We do have a filter for smart plans. This is a semi-recent release, so this is kind of cool. I wanna find contacts that are not on any smart plans. I wanna find contacts that are on any smart plans, right? Or I wanna find contacts that are on a specific smart plan. You can filter there. Then we can go into birthday. So anyone that has a birthday within the next blank, within the last blank, or it's been longer than blank for their birthday, weeks, months, and years there. And then you can see we get down to home anniversary, same setup for home anniversary. I can filter by the company name, right? Everyone that I know that works at blank, primary address. So, hey, I wanna know everyone that lives on Main Street, or I can't remember where they live, but I know it's on Main Street. Let me pull up, or who do I know? right uh, phone number that has a specific phone number email that has a specific email I'll tell you every now and then I get phone calls that I don't know who they're from and I, I don't answer them or you know I miss the call sometimes I come into this primary phone filter just as a heads up and I'll actually enter the phone number just to see if they're in my database so that way when I call them back I don't have to say hey it's Marty Miller I just missed a call who's this I can actually say uh, hey Mickey Mouse it's Marty Miller how are you good to talk to you so those are all of our basic filters inside of our contacts. Next though, we can go into our advanced filters. This is where we start to layer additional filters and this is where it gets pretty cool. So we've got three columns here on the advanced filter slide. You can see, first off, <clears throat> what do I want to filter by? So same setup of filters, right? You've got agent site, birthday company. These are all the same ones that we just looked at right these filters but this is where it gets you know a little bit better so tags we just talked about that so tags includes any that's the same filter that we already had so if i came in and said hey i want to filter by both agent right we talked about that one and affiliated it wasn't affiliated it was um allied resource right so if i chose that tag Right now, that's gonna be the same filter that we just talked about. It's gonna give us everyone that has the agent tag and everyone that has the allied resource tag. 
Well, I want everyone that has both tags. So I can actually come in and say, instead of includes any, includes all. So now that's gonna give me all of the contacts only that have both of these tags, all of these tags. And I could add two, three, four, five different tags here. I could also say, hey, I want everyone in my database that isn't an agent, right? So I could say excludes any, right? And in this case, I want everyone that's either, I, I want just Joe Schmo, general public, not the people in my database that are agents and not the people in my database that are allied resources. So this would include, this would exclude, excuse me, anyone with this tag or this tag or both tags. I could also say, hey, I want to exclude only the people that have both tags. That's where you get excludes all. And then finally, you've got is empty or is not empty. So if I go in, I say, hey, where the contact tags is empty, that's going to give me every person in my database that does not have a tag. And that might be helpful if you're like, who are these people? I should probably classify them with a specific tag such that I can then better segment my very large database into smaller groups later on. It'll help me when it comes to lead generation. You can also do is not empty. Uh, I find is empty and is not empty is also very helpful when I come down to things like primary email. Hey, I'm looking to find out everyone in my database that does not have an email. So I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna say where primary email is empty, maybe I should send them a text and ask them for their email. Well, in that case, I want every contact in my database where the email is empty, but in order to text them, I've gotta have their phone number. So let's just make sure that I actually have their phone number. So I could say where primary phone number is not empty. This would give me everybody in my database that does not have an email and yet does have a phone number. So I could start reaching out to those individuals, obviously in a TCPA friendly and compliant sort of way to ask them for their email. This is also a great place. So we'll get to monthly neighborhood nurture smart plan, but just to kind of put it out there, that's an email based smart plan that sends hyper local market content to people that have been assigned to a neighborhood inside of command. So in that case, if it's an email based smart plan, I've got to make sure I have their email. And then if it's, a neighborhood-based smart plan, I've got to make sure that they've actually been assigned to a neighborhood, right? So where their email is not empty, where their neighborhood is not empty. And I could even say, hey, let's make sure they're not already on that smart plan. So I could come down to smart plans and I could say excludes, and then I would come in and choose the neighborhood nurture. Now we haven't actually, oh, actually neighborhood nurture should already be in here. So, nope, it's not. We haven't actually downloaded any smart plans yet. So that's not gonna show up here, but that's just an example. I could find everyone that has an email, has a neighborhood, and has not yet been subscribed to the monthly neighborhood nurture. That would be a great way to put people on that plan. So I would definitely get in here, play with these filters, especially if you have a larger database. Right now we have a pretty small database. If we wanted to just say, let's work on birthdays, right? I wanna start uh, texting people asking for their birthday. Last example, I would just say where primary phone is not empty, All right? I don't need the neighborhood filter, so I can click on the red minus to remove that. I don't need the smart plan filter, so I can remove that. And then I can say where birthday is, is empty. So do they have a phone number? Yep. Do they have a birthday? Nope. Let's apply. That should just give us Minnie Mouse. And we're like, oh, we have a phone number for Minnie, but we don't have a birthday for Minnie. So we could shoot many a text in a TCPA friendly and compliant sort of way and ask her what her birthday is. We're updating our database. We wanna make sure that we know where it is so we can wish her a happy birthday. That's it for today, guys. A brief run through through basic and advanced filters inside your contacts applet inside of command. As always, I hope you're having a fantastic day and I'll look forward to speaking with you again real soon.